Now, one of the one of the big staples of Jim and them is uh, we we typically we typically get caught up with like lonely retards that are on YouTube or whatever. Yeah, definitely. That's like yeah. our jam. Now, uh, obviously, you know My Little Pony, and you know Bronies, right? Yes. Now, what is this? Uh, what is Danny Phantom? Do you know what Danny Phantom is? Yeah, yeah. Danny Phantom. It was the uh, Butch Hartman's second cartoon after uh, Fairly right. Odd Who's Parents. Butch Hartman? Uh, I, it, it was the guy who created Fairly Odd Parents. It was, it was popular. Right. What's like Fairly the... Odd Parents? It was, what? A show on, it was a show on Nickelodeon. You, it know, was you one really of those... don't know what Fairly Odd Parents is? Yeah, why would I? You know what? that's like on Spongebob. You know how everyone already. talk about, talks about like Adventure Time and stuff like that as like cartoons that even adults know? Yeah, Melissa I would, Chocolate or whatever her name is. I would... <laughs> I would say that um, fairly Sally odd, Sprinkles, fair, fairly odd parents. Uh, I guess outside of SpongeBob was would probably be the first like cartoon that was like funny enough that it was like uh, like uh, any, like people knew about it even if they weren't little kids. And Danny Phantom came and not out, me like, wasn't funny enough for me. I never fucking heard of it. Danny Phantom life. was more of like an action cartoon. And it, it was like popular around the time I start stopped being old enough to just watch cartoons like new cartoons that and were coming out. Teen girls want to fuck Danny Phantom. <laughs> yeah, they do. Danny Phantom doesn't Danny Phantom fight like a ghost girl or something like that? Um, I don't know if he fights a ghost girl, but he can. Can he like become a ghost? I. I've only seen a couple episodes of yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know much about the Danny la- Phantom. The, li- the last show I can remember watching kind of like that was the Teenage Robot one, like the Jenny. Right. Well, I, I mean, I, I was uh, pointed to this vlogger who's kind of, and I think the, the big draw of this gentleman is that he's kind of like a mixture of young Mike Steele and young Jeff Murphy. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, um, no. Like, look at this kid. It's uh, young Mike Steele. <laughs> it really is. It's fucking it, like me and Jeff had a baby. Young Mike Steele, young, and he's he's all about Ember. He like created his own thing. He's who, like a Sonic fan, but for Danny Phantom. He has, Phantom. Oh, he has a bunch of OCs. Yeah, Dan, Ember like McLean. <laughs> he likes Ember McLean. It's a ghost villain from Danny Phantom. Okay. He looks like Aaron from Parks and Recreation. Uh, <laughs> that goth friend of April's. I don't remember that. Ah, the one who's always trying to kill him. But uh, here, like, this is just kind of a random update from his channel here. His Ember's Ghost Squad. What's going on, Ghost Squad? Si- and he kind of sounds like Mike a little bit to me. Like, maybe younger Mike uh, with a little Jeff. Like, to me, this kid is like Jeff and Mike had a baby. <laughs> just thought I'd give you a little update on where things stand now with this channel. For those who don't know, I'm pretty much in charge of what goes on with this channel i make all the decisions with it i do most of the animation of what you see all the writing good bit of the voices and all that so just thought i'd talk to you one-on-one for a little bit just to get like he's really fixated on this ember character and kind of being a ghost like is that a thing is the danny fan i guess danny phantom yeah so you turn into a ghost i think his i think his power was that yeah he could he had he could like become a ghost or he could possess objects or something like that uh, this yeah, I think it's that. He can possess stuff. Yeah. It's been pretty hectic with trying to get this channel off the ground. and we're He's been working on this, now, I think, for like, like eight holy years. shit, it's going to be 2017 within a few weeks. And it's He's got a nice camera. It's over. For those who don't know, this channel's been in production for a long time, at least 15 months. And before That's this, I was on a channel time. called yeah. Pioneer's Productions, where I made videos for seven and a half to eight years. So yeah, I've so been like on right YouTube around for quite a like long a little time. after Jim and them and started. I've seen some familiar faces transition from my old channel to this one, and um, I'm really excited to see what the future has in store for this channel. Before this, I did short film style videos, comedic sketch, and all this random it shit. These all look really funny. I thought was funny and cool <laughs> at the yeah. time. Now, but I well, like we can relate to this guy on one yeah. hand because not only yes. is it Mike and Jeff in at one person, but it's also you know. You know, hitting the grind on the on the internet, yeah. trying to make something happen, making a shitload of content that no one will ever yeah. watch. Trying, <laughs> but with animation, and like you look around and you're like, all these other people getting all these subscribers, getting all this. It obviously takes a long time to do, and you can have an idea one day, and then the next day you scrap it and start all over, and it's a shitty process when you break it down. But um. I just want to let you know that the process is always worth it. I think a lot of you understand that it's an unpredictable process. You know, you can have five ideas, and you might only get to do one. He or does two a lot of, of this art, I think, although it's year. clearly it's just, just like a rip off of uh, Danny Phantom. Yeah, it's a hundred percent a rip off. But like he does it himself, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool when you can like reproduce it, I suppose. Sure. But it depends where things go, and with EGS, it's a very non-linear style. 
Um, there hasn't been a lot of content out this year yet because with, I'm going to get to it in a second here. Um, the content itself, it takes a lot of time to make. And myself, I've been doing <sighs> the whole shebang behind the scenes. I've been doing all the writing, all the editing. So think of like what we're doing, but like it's just you. Yeah. You're trying to do it all on your own. It's got to be like really stressful, really hard, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It seems like it. So you can hear it in his voice. He made this animation here too, like these, this long video. Kind of tension. Whoa, All this video is 40 the... minutes long. Yeah, we're not gonna watch it. Everything isn't meant to be okay. We always say that. Television dreams of tomorrow, not the ones we're meant to follow. And that's enough to argue. Tension. All across the world. Man, people really can't do anything Man, they so want. <laughs> All of this feels like something that like uh, they dig up on the internet about someone after they do a mass shooting. Yeah. This all this is what all of this feels like. They oh. like look at all these warning signs. Oh, really? Is is that is that what you think? Oh no. Is that really what you're thinking? Oh no, Jim, is that did Thorson nail it? Find attention to this plan. Oh no. The eternal war will cause devastation beyond imaginable. Uh -oh. And all Thorson. souls are fair game. The EGS will rule the world. There's nothing you can do to stop us. Look at all this My Little Pony shit on his fucking... Yeah, Jesus Christ. He's got the ponies, he's got the posters. Theater kid acting is so fucking cringy. Every theater kid acts the exact same way. I'm not going to say anything bad about this guy until I find out what happened. Well, did you see what he just put on his bed? Gun. Did he really? So, oh, oh. oh I've I heard just, that this is a subculture on the internet. Is this what I think it is? I just noticed that the, the name is called Westboro High Massacre. Okay, yeah. So he just put two uh, shotguns with like duct tape on the handles on his bed. This is for podcasters. And he has a bag of bullets. Uh, yeah, two nights ago, this dude shot up his grocery store that he works Holy at overnights shit. and killed himself. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> Isn't this fucking bizarre, scary, and creepy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Thorsten, you were so right. This is something people dig up after someone kills <laughs> a bunch of people. <laughs> oh, oh, man. He's like, if only he had more viewers, someone yeah, would have How long ago him. was this video? He just he put it up before he went to work that night. He didn't put these up until like right at, right as he was going to work. That's oh really my un God. unnerving. <laughs> isn't, that ins isn't that fucking insane? That and is fucked up. I skipped it, but at the beginning, it's just these long tirades that he was trying to hire animators online to help him make his animation, and they all flaked out on him. So it's just him being like, "You faggots, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're supposed to help man. me with this animation." Oh. But then supposedly this kid also says that he's a woman, like he's Ember Ghost or whatever. Ever. Like that's his inside who he is. So he identifies as a female ghost. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, this is like his actual intro. Like to all the people who screwed me over on this video and left me hanging. Fuck you. To all the animators who agreed to help and shoved me aside as if I didn't even matter. Fuck you. To all the worthless people involved with this video in general who made me feel like I didn't even matter. Fuck you. To everyone who agreed to help me in general and made me feel like I didn't matter, fuck you. I hate to speak ill of the dead, but this guy doesn't know how to use a semicolon. <laughs> <laughs> to the fans who appreciate what I managed to get done with this in five months, completely on my own, thank you. Uh, there are going to be some missing shots left unfinished in this video with the animatics in place of the black holes due to zero of the 10 plus animators whom I reached out, even lifting a finger to help out. And dude, don't worry, this tirade goes on. Um, let me see when it gets to the next fucking moment here. Jesus Christ. But this dude left a ton of shit online. He's been planning this for months. And, and, it and, just, and there's like a fucking map of it, like just yes. existing. Oh, no. Him buying his gun. Him being like, I got it. I got my second shotgun. I got to make sure my boss is trying to get on days uh, because another manager quit. So I might have to move my timetable up. What the Ugh. fuck? It's fucking chilling. And like, so like he worked at the grocery store. Yes. He worked overnights. And it's so weird because I swear to God, I didn't know anything about this last night. Uh, Stella and I went to Walmart like late at night. Cause it's like, ah, I, I want to, I need water and like orange juice or whatever. And uh, as we were leaving, I even said, I'm like, can you imagine working at Walmart all night? Like, <laughs> I feel like this is the saddest, shittiest thing ever. 
But yeah, this dude worked over uh, overnights at a shopping, uh, no, not shopping, at a supermarket. He like clocked in at 11 and spent the first hour and a half of his shift stacking pallets against the doors and exits. Holy fuck. That's Jeez. so scary. Jessic fucking horror movie yes. shit. Yes, yes. That's like a, oh, I don't want to spoil it, but that movie, we need to talk about, what's his name? Uh, uh, Kevin? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen that, oh. but I kind of know what the movie is. But the idea that he was, he was like, no, I want to, I want to kill people and I don't want them to be able to escape either. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So here on his on his Ember's Ghost Squad video here, uh, this is going to be something amazing. This is going to be something awesome. This is going to be something unique. In the end, what do I have? Hardly anything. Thanks to you good for nothing faggots. All of you animators can fucking drop dead. This was meant to be something spectacular and all he did was crush my dreams for it. The animators just pushing me aside for quote more important work. When I was able to pay you by your outrageous fucking rates, fucking die. I'm going to be fucking dead by the time you see this video. Congratulations, you, bl you fucking blew it. I hope you forever rethink what gets sent to you from now on. I hope you forever have the weight of the world crushing your spine into the fucking pavement. Jesus. Dude, like, everyone makes that joke, like that kind of half joke about the guy yeah. at work. And it's like how you better be nice to him. And like, I am. I'm genuinely, I'm nice to that motherfucker that seems oh, like hell he's this yeah. guy. Yeah, I, you got to be nice to that dude. This is why you got to do it. So after spending January to the first week of June on this, I just fucking gave up on it. What's the point? What's the fucking point? I literally killed myself over this fucking thing with no thanks to any of you. You're all worthless fucking cunts. Thanks for nothing. Seriously, thanks for false hope. Thanks for absolutely nothing, you good-for-nothing faggots. I'm going to haunt your fucking dreams. I'm going to hover over your worthless, pathetic bodies while you sleep. And when you fucking take your last breaths, I'm going to be in your pupils laughing my fucking ass off. I thought there were still good people in this world willing to lend a hand when I needed it most. Turns out I was fucking wrong. Fucking die. God damn it. Jim, this is so this fucking is, scary. This is insane, right? This is the most well, chilling thing. But the most insane thing to me, too, is I feel like I... There's so much yeah. more! <laughs> oh, God! But I feel like... I mean, part of it is just the depressing state of affairs of how, like, shootings like this don't get as much press anymore because yes. they happen all the time. But I feel like there was no hashtag and there was not even, like, a lot of... I didn't see a lot of discussion on this. Sh it happened like Wednesday night. I was just I saying, guess. how have I not heard yeah, a yeah, word heard about, about this? This is such a giant deal. The idea that like someone left like a huge blueprint to what they were going to do ahead of time. It exists. Yeah. And like, and then he did it. And like, how well, is that not a thing that's I'm, being talked about? I'm weirdly surprised that it, this is still up. Honestly. Yeah, YouTube's been on a real yeah. crusade for like uh, their reputation, and I'm really well, surprised he, they're. He also put out about a big media fire page with like all kinds of shit. So oh, that no, man. so that if they took it down, it would still exist. I guess I don't know. Uh, Seventy-five percent of the music videos tend to be animated. Only a quarter of it ended up finished. With zero help from you fuckers, I do everything else. What else is new? Throughout my entire nine-year career on YouTube, <laughs> that's, that's kind of funny. He thinks uh, of it as like a career, but like that's kind of part of it. Like everyone thinks, like, hey, you make YouTube videos and make fucking dough. Uh, I'm gonna be the guy. Yeah, H3, H3's wife. I want to be are like you Jack. Paid money. I want to be Jack guy. You dead-eyed <laughs> slut. <How'd, laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you was the best. <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm being facetious. Uh, this is meant to be a collaborative effort, and you just flat out didn't fucking give a shit about me. I was patient. I was nice. I was inspired. In the end, what am I now? Satisfied? I'm fucking satisfied. I was able to somehow still make this decently animated with only two years of animation experience. I wanted fucking experienced people to work on this and make it amazing. Well, it didn't happen. I waited three and a half months for animators to help out. I get shut out in the cold like an ex-fucking wife. You can kiss my deceased female white ass. You good-for-nothing cocksuckers. So the fan who still care about me, some of the answers you're looking for are in the Andrew Blaze suicide tapes folder in the digital release set that was released oh, tonight. Oh, he watched 13 oh, Reasons Why! Jesus Christ. Yeah. The set is in the video description. I'm not sorry about this either. Now, I mean, on, on one hand, I'm glad that he's not getting a lot of attention. Yes. I mean, I don't mind doing it on our it. show because, I mean, we, we're doing a goofy show and we can just shit on him. Like, the news wouldn't be able to be like, look at this fucking idiot. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> what, if, what if they're like, the following report is not for underage kids. Look at this fucking idiot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, at least we could do that. So, uh, wait, Jim, do you know anything about the Andrew Blaze suicide tapes? Um, uh, there are some people have uploaded some other clips that I do have. I didn't watch them fully. Uh, I don't want to listen to this guy's suicide tapes. <laughs> but, yeah, let me get back to where we were, where he's getting his guns ready. So this is these are all real guns and real ammo because yes. he really went and did this. Yep, it's all real shit. And yeah, he admit he'd been making this video for a few months. He just didn't put it up until beforehand. 
Like like the that day when he went into work that night. This is fucking Is horrifying. this fucking insane? And I guess he was really inspired by Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, the Columbine guys. Jesus. That's so why I've, he... I've heard online that there's like a whole subculture in, on Tumblr that's like obsessed with school shootings that like worship Ugh. those guys. Yeah. But I've only seen it on Reddit, so I don't know if it's like a real thing, but I've, I've seen it a lot lately. It's bizarre. And especially because what this kid's, what is he, like 19, 20, the, probably the oldest maybe? Yeah. So even then, it's like when that happened he would have only been like a toddler. So that, but then you grow up and like you become a weirdo and you think like those people are awesome because you weren't like really around. He's like, happened. he's like a bad version of um, uh, Kylo Ren. He's like, yeah, he's like yeah. Kylo Ren. <laughs> and it's weird because it's like, you expect this to kind of happen with every dumb asshole shooter now, right? They just... I'm surprised I haven't seen more of this type yeah, of more shit. You know what I mean? People like this where there's a big, like, thing you can go and see, uh, like, because when they knew what they were doing. Well, it's also weird that he's doing this weird bad acting, but he's yeah. also going <laughs> to do gonna this really for real. Yeah, yeah, he could have just acted like this, but, like, yeah, he's, like, hamming it up. Yeah, he's going to ham like, it up. Like, he didn't go and blow everyone away at a grocery store. For his stupid... Danny Phantom video. <laughs> he has to tie Danny Phantom to his massacre. What a dumb shit. Oh. Uh, I'm just waiting for it because I know there's a point where Gwen Stefani kicks in for a montage. Oh, good. How he didn't get a copyright strike, <laughs> I'll never know. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Because I, I, I will. Yeah, it's going to get creepier in a second. He Tell me he doesn't go to the grocery store. I'm not saying anything. He really is fucking hamming it up, isn't he? Yeah, he's hamming he's it up so hard. Let it go. He's got frozen posters on his bedroom. Dude, you got two IMAX. Why are you going to kill yourself? Yeah, give us <laughs> one. <Yeah. laughs> oh, you didn't tell me about uh, Michael Jackson kicking in. No, it's uh, Gwen Stefani. Oh, yeah, it is. He's mad. Oh, this was he's mad about these audio glitches. Yeah, there's the fucking grocery store he works at. Oh, no. Uh, is this hella good? Like the worst yeah. No Doubt song ever? <laughs> I get that, Mike. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a Patriots beanie. And then he even has, like, the there fucking little ghost girl shooting guns and shit. Yeah, he fucking loves Ember whatever. Ember ghost. I can't believe you hate Hella Good. You don't like this song? I, mean, I, you do like like it. I do like it. Oh, this song's It's easily their worst album, but it's a song. It's guilty pleasure. Ooh. Yep, there he is working at his fucking grocery store. Oh. Uh. Jesus Christ. Do you think Gwen Stefani approves of uh, this yeah, track? How did he not get a fucking <laughs> yeah. takedown? Maybe they're, well, maybe it's one of those where he gets ads on his video, but Gwen makes the money off of it. <laughs> I guess. God, this is so fucking weird, Jim. Lackluster in the chat says, to be fair, Danny Phantom's a classic. So maybe it is. I mean, a lot of people, again, it is one of those things that has a fandom behind it. But Danny I mean, Fandom? It yeah, has a Danny <laughs> Fandom. Uh, yeah. Thorson. This, this dude's fucking obsessed with Danny Fandom. Well, not, not really Danny himself, though. I feel like anybody that gets obsessed with any one thing to this level needs to be looked at. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just kind of like this montage. Yeah, and he starts playing like melodramatic fucking... Are these clips from Danny Phantom? No, he actually, he has these animations and he hired this girl to do the voice of Ember. So this girl who got paid for voice acting is in like all his videos. Oh man. And everyone's like, hey, are you a friend of this guy? She's like, no, nah, just a paid gig. I <laughs> just, uh, just he wrote it, and I just said, but all the things are like, I will destroy <laughs> this uh, peasant world and these fucking peons that don't understand how weak they are. Well, like, I, I just I'm met sure. him on Fiverr. <laughs> I'm sure to her she had no idea. Oh, of course, yeah. But I, I'm sure there would be. There's probably those moments of like, what well, is this kid gonna shoot a place up or something? Oh God. He has notebooks, scribblings. You'll all fucking die. 
Good lord. We want fresh souls. And like some of it seems so disingenuous. Like, that's what gets me is it all seems so disingenuous. Like the writings, it seems yeah. like he was acting. He was trying, yeah. To what be, he was seen trying in to be movies. edgy, yeah, yeah. But then like, but then he really did it. So yeah. that's like, ugh. Yeah. you really can't like ignore people. <laughs> it's scary. No. I want to ignore them. And I love, I guess the Phil's montage was just like, what was the f- uh, football, High team? football team? Yeah. <laughs> we want people dead, and we want them dead now. AFL football? Arena League? Incapacitate your fucking parents. Slit your wrist across the alley. Pierce your cold hearted eyes. She thought nothing was weird about this voice acting. Fly outside of your toxic attention whoring veins. Yeah, but there's like, I've heard I've heard voiceover like that in actual video games. So. Yeah, I think some of the comments are like, uh, what was that game? What was that game that had all the controversy where you like just shoot up a place or whatever? Postal? Hatred? Oh, hatred. Was it hatred? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's like, oh, hatred 2 looks shitty or something like that. Like, mean not a bad Queens. Game. Yeah. <laughs> but like, he has to, his, even his diatribe, he's throwing in trash footage. Uh, here's my American Eagle hoodie, and here's my well, covers. But, Jim, you don't understand. Everybody let him down. This yeah, is that's liter- very true. It is literally filler because he was yeah. supposed to have a bunch of cool animated stuff, and now he's just adding weird montage <laughs> yeah. stuff that he just came up with at the last and second. And he's so pissed that he had to throw this footage in there. <laughs> yeah, inspired by the characters. Anyways, yeah. Yeah, that's I'm sure Nickelodeon loves this. Yeah. Inspired by the characters from Nickelodeon. Well, at least you gave know. us credit. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, Christ. Westboro High Massacre. Then it's him, like, with her. Yeah, it's animated and it, him. He has blood on him because of the shotgun that he's using to kill people. Yeah, dedicated to Eric Harris, Dylan Klebold, and the Ghost Squad. And the fans, too. Always got to give a shout-out to the fans. And you know what? The, I think I found the downfall of this kid. He has another uh, YouTube channel. Where he just put up a clip from Danny Phantom of uh, Ember singing a song or something. There's some musical moment. And it had over a million views. And he was like, uh, oh, thanks so much. And he had like a link to this channel. But they didn't follow him over to his Ember's Ghost yeah. Squad. So that was like the fucking he first. Got, he got a taste of it, but then realized yeah. that like he'll never actually get it no matter what. Oh, here it is. This is. F- All right. I got it. I fucking got it. Two Mossberg 500 shotguns. Fucking got it. It's on the back seat back there somewhere. I don't know if you can see it, but fucking got it. Two. I now have two. Two pump action 12 gauge shotgun Mossberg 500s. This one's 18 and a half inches on the barrel. The other one was 20. 20 and a half. One of the two. I don't know. But I fucking got it. I fucking got it. Is I going to use my blinker really quick? Yeah, I can't believe it. I, <laughs> I, mer- I, I need to merge appropriately. I have all the pieces. I have everything I need. And the way I see it, just just four weeks left. Yeah, this was at the end of April. That's so he's just up. some, like, lame nerd. Yeah, I was going to say, like, it's it sucks because... I want to say, like, wow, 220 people saw this and, like, didn't think anything of it. But this kid is so hammy that you think he's doing a bit almost. Yeah, it seems like well, it's and all... And so it's hard to take seriously. He kept all these secret. He didn't put them up until, oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So they weren't online. This is someone who just downloaded it from his digital thing okay. and put it on YouTube. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, he was kind of smart with that where he made these videos, but he kept them to himself. And then he just put them all on a Mediafire account and, but he didn't send it out or anything until he went to work. Okay, but still, like, yeah. even then, just take the same thing, and you got to imagine he's similar to this in real life. Oh, yeah. It's it's hard to take this guy seriously, or not even just chalk it up to him being, ah, maybe he's just weird, or maybe he's on the spectrum or something like that, and not just, like, like nah, he needs help, and someone should do something about it, because even he is so over the top in the way he's acting that I wouldn't have taken him seriously. Yeah, he's he's just so excited about us watching it now that he's dead. Um, that he, yeah, he has to play it up and, and 
Uh, on one hand, yeah, like I said before, I'm kind of glad like it doesn't have a ton of views. It's just like <laughs> yeah, no, it's no. Just still some dumb video of him, but it's like 200 views. Like go fuck yourself. Do you think he's deluded enough to where he like thought that he would come back as a ghost and be able to like see everyone's reactions? Yeah, I think he does talk about that. Yeah, he talks about he's going to go to the ghost world or he whatever. Definitely, oh, like, no. So, yeah. Else happens. It, or even really, if he's just, just humoring himself now. and telling himself that so that when he can go through with work, it. Yeah. It's all unpredictable as to what could happen. It's part of me thought it could have been two weeks from now because one of my uh, the managers on the day shift. I'm on night shift, but one of the managers on the day shift put in his two week notice, and my boss has been trying to get on day shift or second shift forever, and he had an opportunity to get it, but. The way things are looking, he's not going to get it. So then also put me, like, on the clock here because it's like he's been trying to look for other places to work, you know, try to get off a night shift and just find another job. And the way I see it, I can just barely have enough time to do all this within four weeks. Um, I thought it could have been two weeks from now maybe if that, but... Yeah, he's like, oh, so I really need to kill this guy, but he keeps trying to get a different job. Yeah. And I really need to kill him before he, he changes jobs. But he's, like, talking so flippantly about it. Yeah, he's he's he really wants to kill that one manager. I think he did. I think he got him. Jesus. Um, let me see if I can find the. Yeah, did everyone die? He killed three people in himself. Ugh. Uh, let me see here. Good uh, goodbye, human supermarket employee with history of violent online cartoons fatally shoots three coworkers. Um. Yeah. Oh, he's twenty-four. Oh wow. He brought a duffel bag with two pistol grip shotguns to his 11 p.m. Wednesday night shift at Weiss Market in Eaton Township. He unleashed 59 bullets before turning the gun on himself. Uh, his final post on Twitter is good, goodbye, humans. I'll miss you. Um, How many wounded if he shot that many here. shots and only killed three people? From Pennsylvania, busted himself, busied himself positioning pallets and other objects against the supermarket entryways before gunning down his victims just before 1 a.m. I feel like it was prob- that was probably everyone in the store <laughs> if it's 1 a.m. in the middle of Pennsylvania. Right. A witness was unharmed and fled the scene to call 911. The victims were Victoria Brong, 26, Brian Hayes, 47, and Terry Sterling, 63. Good Lord. Uh, the store is open 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. and was closed to customers as the horror unfolded. So, yeah, one of those, it might, might be the older one. I'm not sure. One of those was his manager. He must. He did not like his manager. Depends when he takes the vacation because my vacation, it looks like it's going to be June 11th through the 18th. I think like that week, you know, and he could take that the week before for all I know. Which would suck because that's when I want to do this. Listen, now he's talking about it. He's talking about it like it's him trying to like go see a movie, but his boss don't let him take the day off, and he's like, "God, that fucking sucks." Because I really want to kill all these people on this day, but like he's making it tough because like I can't. It's like he's talking about it like it's a normal thing. And and like even if he did put these up, like obviously the people close to him, you'd want to look into it. But I, I would probably see it and be like, nah, what a little baby. What a little well, melodramatic right, baby. Even right now, I'm thinking yeah. about that. Like, <laughs> oh, his, yeah. Like, yeah. His messages, too. Like, I mean, they, nobody's obligated to help you. You decided to make a career out of YouTube, bro. Just a couple weeks. It's no big deal. <laughs> but I want it to be the night of June 9th. That would have been tonight. That's... That's wow. my goal. That's my plan. What if what if at the end he goes, Jim them goon for yeah. life, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fucking horrible. If not the ninth, then the twenty fourth. Yeah. Something must have happened. Maybe it was like, oh, I got day shift. Fifth. I don't know. It's a Friday. Whatever. I don't know what day. Jim and them night. Right you know. You know. I'm gonna be busy watching yeah. Jim and them. Now the fact of the matter of everything else is, I gotta hide this shotgun for the next month. <laughs> Which shouldn't be too hard. So he must live with his parents. Have lived with his parents as well. Yeah, he lives oh, with his definitely. parents because they know. He, well, he mentions it here. Uh, they know he has one shotgun. I'm gonna keep it in my trunk. He he, he works at a grocery so, store and has two MacBooks maybe or yeah, whatever they're true. called. Two iMac, iMac Pros. And or and dude, if he honestly was hiring animators, that is not cheap. So I I. I 
it does feel like, I mean, I don't know for sure, but it does feel like maybe his parents are well off and they do just give him a lot of money because if he's, and especially guns are not fucking cheap. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they're shitty parents that are like trying to throw money at the problem. They could yeah. tell he was an issue, like an issue, but they're like, maybe we should just come like, if we placate him, he'll get better or something. For a fact, I'll be home alone. I can bring it in and get rid of the box and everything. I, I really got to keep this low key. I can't tell my parents that I have two shotguns now. They know I have the one, but then if they see that I have the exact same gun, but two inches shorter on the barrel, it'd be like, why do you need that? And then that's when it starts to get into like personal stuff. Like, why do you need two shotguns? You're scaring me. Please don't start buying more guns, you know. Ugh, mom and dad are always like, why do you have so many <laughs> don't do guns? This, you know? So, yeah, I need to keep it under wraps. And it shouldn't be too big of a problem. I got all kinds of hiding places I could put it in, so. If I really had to, I could just keep it in the trunk the whole time. Yeah, your butthole, you my trunk. dumb shit. So. Got him. <laughs> Yeah, listen Fuck to how, boy. Put up your ass. how normal he, he's just talking. Yeah. About, he's clearly I'm had this plan close. for a while, and he's more I, than made up his mind because you don't talk about something like this. Um, like, obviously, again, I still feel like he's hamming some of the parts up, mm. but the parts that he's not, that he's just talking about as, their, as run of the mill, that's the scary part. That's the part where you know that, like, nothing was going to stop this dude. Well, yeah, because, I mean, even, like, he's even saying, like, oh, no, if they know, they're going to be, like, asking questions. They're going to... They're going to find out what my plan is and they're not going to let me do it or whatever. I can't get any closer. I've said that a million times by now, but I cannot get any closer. This is it. It's the final stretch. I have all the pieces. I'm just waiting on getting some eyeliner. Do you think There's he uh, already killed shipped. his hairstylist? Eyeliner? What? <laughs> why did he call it eyeliner and not guy liner? <laughs> Yeah, and why doesn't he get a... Like Kristen's saying, why doesn't he get a better haircut? But then it's weird because if we just flash back to November... Uh, 2016. A lot of the voices, I've been having to send all the, you know, scripts to the voice actresses and everything to get recorded. So this is right before and the I've project that broke him, right? Or he's talking about the project that would inevitably break him. I don't think he's talking about it yet. I, that project comes up. I think this project was his last legit project. Oh, okay. He was ready to get the EGS going on the, on YouTube because January is when he started his big one. But that's when everyone fucking flaked on him. Uh, but I think this one led him to his January project. I'm taking the most time out of everything, and that is a big reason why there hasn't been a lot of content out this year. There's been a lot of EGS tapes out because for the sake of animating, they're a lot quicker and easier to do, but I don't want people thinking that that's all we're doing here with this channel. There's a lot of ideas in my head, and the only problem is I don't have the time to get them all made myself. So I recently started reaching out to animators, which... Obviously, uh -huh. that's a financial problem. It's a lot of money um, to have animators do work for you. But Wait, does he just like love that girl or something? Yeah, who's that girl? Does he just love with her? I focus all of my free time on doing Ember's. So then it's like, oh, once you can't get out of that, then it's new time for new project. And I ordered more ammunition, obviously, <laughs> but this is it. Uh, Jesus. Can't believe it. I hope this audio is okay. I don't normally like ever record in the car especially when I'm going on a highway and about to go over rumble strips so it's really like nah, he's I mean, farting he's farting bro <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's just like, embarrassed oh no there's so many of them <laughs> oh all these rumble strips uh I mean uh, like <laughs> clearly this dude's like such a fuck boy but uh <laughs> Yeah, that that's that fucking shooter's a real fuck boy. But it's also that murderer is such a fuck boy. But it's also like, wow, he has nobody. He has nobody. He's, I mean, the stereotypical thing, but he seems like he was stunted, like at that particular age where Danny Phantom came out, because he's also like, yeah. he has like a scene haircut, which was popular yeah. around. And then he also is wearing brands like all his clothes are brands that were popular around that time. Oh, like yeah, Hollister that's and Aeropos. Like Nobody that's fucking when wears that anymore. That's Nobody wears when American Eagle. Like things were his best. And so he's like, oh, I'll just cling to those years because that's when things were the best for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I had, I, I had noticed that stuff, but I didn't really put that together. That's a good that's a good observation. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I just I can't believe how easy it is to get firearms. It is insanely easy. 
show this to the government. As long as you well, don't have a record. In one of his uh, things, I don't know if it's a video or just a written thing, he does write something like, um, now that this has happened, what are you going to do to keep it from happening again? Or something like that. Ooh. But then he also says like, the answer is you can't. <laughs> oh, wait, shit. I thought it was rhetorical. <laughs> Fuck. I you do know, think he read 13 Reasons Why. Because the show wouldn't have been out yet, but I th do think he watched or read it. <laughs> background you know or any run with uh, the law and uh, not to disagree with you just for disagreement's so, you know, sake but i i kind of like jim said i almost wonder if just the modern age of kids like you don't even need to read or know about that book just everyone's so like fixated with the idea of journaling themselves and having pictures and videos that i almost wonder if it was just more a sign of the times than it was reading that book. Maybe. Because like, you, you can see how all those people are with videos. And, and pick it up at a dealership. And shit that it kind of would make sense. He's like, oh, I'm, he, know, he clearly knows he's going to do it. Yeah. So once you've made up your head, your mind that far ahead of time, why not document it? Daily murder I, blog. I think at the very least, he was probably like annoyed when uh, 13 Reasons <laughs> Why came out. They stole like, my I've idea. I've been fucking working on this shit since January, motherfucker. For what, seven hundred dollars? Nine hundred, if that. What your gun? Insanely easy. That's, that's not a. a that's not a cheap. Yeah, that's yeah a but if you're gonna dude. die, it's not. The ammunition adds up, but who gives a fuck? Got nothing to lose now. Spend as much money as I need to. No, see, yeah. so he's literally saying I can burn through money because I'm gonna die. Really ballin! To, fucking <laughs> this dude's fucking ballin' though. Two nine hundred dollar guns. This guy's balling. Yeah, show it. Two IMAX. Two other things first. I got expensive animating software. Remake the intro for the final video. Reanimate it. Update it with the newer models. You, you gotta know. buy the rights Update to the uh, a little. feeling hella good mind. or whatever. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> you gotta give him a little bit of credit because I've had jobs where like. When you know you're on the way out, you just sort of phone in your job. <laughs> this yeah. dude was literally down to kill himself, but he like still put a lot of effort into the things he was hitting up on his way out. He didn't have a case of senioritis at all. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got two shots pretty much done for that, but you know I just got to update like five shots, and that will be done. Um, more like six, but got to get on that Ember Ghost. And it's just like I don't know, eight more of the massacre shots and. You know, that portion's done. I'm not going to be able to finish it all. He's really it's bummed about work. He's truly He's truly heartbroken that his YouTube career did not take off. And, yeah, I mean, hey, I get it, dude. Uh, hey, working on Jim and them, brother. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you, Randy Stair, <laughs> a.k.a. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck's his dumb name? Uh, not Danny Phantom. Ember Ghost? No, nah, he has uh, he has some other alias that he's under. What what are these suicide tapes again? Oh, the the fucking do something Blaze. Yeah, it's like Andrew Blaze or something oh, yeah. like that. Yeah, we know all about putting a shitload of work into something yeah. to get have it get like six hundred views. So I understand that 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 feeling, but still. Hey, yeah, well, remember I, I, I always watch and like every video, guys. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't get the feeling of like shooting everyone up, but I I, uh, I do understand the feeling of like, oh man, I want to do this, but I guess I won't. Yeah. And then especially like on top of it, he has no friends and he works overnight at a supermarket and he lives at home with his parents. Or like, so. I'm going to do this. Oh, well, no one cared that I did it. <laughs> Like that's a, it's not a great feeling. Yeah. No one else loves fucking. Uh, isn't Danny Phantom like old as fuck too? Yeah. It's pretty old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no one still loves this shit like me. Uh, AKA Andrew Blaze. Sorry, right, I just want to make sure. And I, the better, like the sooner I do this, the better. I don't want to keep, like, I don't want to like. It's like they say, you know, you always. <laughs> You make a plan, you want to stick to it. I don't want to fucking back out. I don't want to, uh, you know, be, get lackadaisical on my life's work. When he's not wearing his beanie, he kind of looks like a penis. Post something wrong. Looks like a what? Yeah. A penis? <laughs> yeah. Like a penis shit. Without, like, intending it to be wrong and people, like, It looks like the strawberries and cream sort. commercial guy. Yeah. Strawberries you and know, cream. You just, you got to watch what you post on the internet. I've only told two people about my shotgun. I told Point Baron. And I told Rachel. That was the only two people. Rachel, because she was getting into guns. I'm like, well, I guess I got a shotgun not too long ago, you know. 
Oh, dude, but that was his no cry for help. Oh, he was yeah. like, maybe I can get this girl to like me, and I won't care about my YouTube channel anymore. That might be the girl he pays to do the voices or uh. whatever. Um, I'm not going to tell anybody else. That's just it, because if I start telling people, then they realize what I'm posting about and saying, you know, it's like the final countdown or the final stretch or as big things are coming in this next month. You know, people are going to start thinking that I'm threatening people, and you don't need that. Nobody needs that to happen to them. So, so far, yeah, it'd be it's been terrible if okay. someone found out I've your plot to kill a bunch like, of people. Why are you obsessed with this Columbine shit? But other than that, virtually nothing. Um, so yeah, see, he he was so obsessed I, with Columbine stuff on the internet. That, yeah. yeah, that subculture exists. I was right. Yeah. It's a Tumblr thing. No, yeah, he talks about it. He loves. He he like. He talks about how he there's a picture of. Um, uh, Dylan and whoever uh, after they kill themselves and he like snuck it into his art like it's in the background kind of like but he drew it like he drew his own version of it oh, and he like snuck it into his into his it's thing. insane to think that like about I mean I know this is just because we're like a little older now but it like when that happened like it's insane to think that there's any that's like people making like like my my age group made kind of edgy jokes about like 9-11 you know like, yeah it's, it's weird to me like because I remember Columbine being a thing and like it's weird that there are people who think it's cool. Yeah, yeah. It's like that, it, the thing they talk about of how, like, women write serial killers in prison and stuff like yeah. that. Or, like, how like, pirates are cool now, and they're, like, literally, like, real-life monsters yeah. that existed. <laughs> it's just this weird, uh, I mean, clearly, and th and the reason why he made all these videos is because he's looking at them and, like, people know their names. They're remembered. Like, they're talked about. Like, that's going to be me. Andrew Blaze. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, dude. Jim and them might do an episode <laughs> about me. A whole part yeah, I one. Think, like, people who run the security companies can see the store cameras, like, what goes down. It's like, how many fucking places do you have your cameras in? You can't just know. It's just me, Brian, and the floor guy. More likely than not. Uh, granted, it could end up being the new girl we just got, too. Oh, no! Oh, fuck. Um, like I said, the schedule's that, unpredictable he did anymore. kill a girl, huh? Mine has never ever changed. And he did kill a girl year, on like, the list you mentioned. And she was the youngest the one. And it's pissed me off. But. It's uh, Brian Hayes, 47. That must be his manager. Yeah. Fuck. And, but the thing is, like, I don't think Brian Hayes could should have been killed. But you know Brian Hayes fucking treated this guy like shit. You know he did. And like it does it's uh, no excuse whatsoever, no. obviously. But like having managers and like knowing how man and then and, but thinking it in an overnight supermarket sense. Well, especially know, how I a manager like might look down at someone like this kid. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I kinda of feel like with this kid's general attitude, Brian Hayes could not have been a bad manager and this kid is just one of those people who is like Oh, he's telling me to do my job. Maybe what a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Although it just, I don't know. I just usually think managers are fucking the worst. So <laughs> I'm not siding with this kid in any way. But yeah, if this dude, and, and not even that, like he doesn't deserve to be treated like shit. Because I just imagine this kid coming in. He's always talking about fucking Danny Phantom and My Little Pony and shit. And uh, if they work overnights, he could pr he probably like wears brony hats or whatever the fuck. And then this guy who's almost 50 is like, man, wait, wait, you're 24 you, years old. Yeah. Grow up. Yeah, grow up. Get, get, grow you know. up and get a job yeah, as a get, manager get, at a get, grocery get, store overnight. Get Star Wars and Sailor Moon tattoos like an adult. <laughs> it's just whatever it is, it is. Personally, I don't hey, really off, mind if it's off. more than one person on with me. It's Lackluster in the chat. Dumbass should have waited till August. That would have been 10 year anniversary since Danny Phantom ended. Got a point. <laughs> I just, you know, you don't have a lot of time. If it's just Brian and the floor guy and I pop them too, like if I pop the both of them, then you know there's nobody else in there that's going to call the fucking police on you. That's just the biggest thing. Like on a Wednesday night, there's two other people there. And he did they're easy targets. They're big fucking girls. <laughs> but, Whoa. you know. Fat shaman. Oh, yeah. Fat shaman murderer? <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking. These victim shaming, but like, like in a different way. But this creepo is uh, at his job, looking at people like, all right, they got a nice, they got a nice big target on them. That's gonna be easy. Easy to, to hit. kill her. Easy to kill her. That's an insta call out to nine one one, and it doesn't matter. But it only takes them like two minutes to get there, you know. 
and then they're in, you know, and then, you know, it's all about time. Ooh, he doesn't want to talk about the fact no that he what, has to kill himself. Yeah. He knows it's a it's thing, just, but he doesn't like talking about it. I want to make fucking damage. Not just pop a guy or girl and then just immediately have to off myself from it. That'd be really lame. You know, you want to Yeah, that would mark. be really lame. Oh, that'd be the oh, worst. Oh, man. <laughs> His ghost must be so disappointed because that's pretty much what he did. <laughs> he killed three people and then offed himself. So, yeah. It's just, it's a lot to think about, but... It just happened like that. You know, you have, like, no time to react to everything. You just do it. I've run the scenario through my head, like, at least, like, 50 times. And... That doesn't seem like enough time. Yeah, it's that's virtually so never changed. So... I don't know. Yeah, I don't we'll know. See. Got well, some, we'll uh, see. We'll see if, we'll see if my head. shooting works out or not. We'll see. I don't know. So, anyways, rather, I'm putting you know, up uh, Denny Phantom episode do three of season two so, tonight. If this, if if this chilled you to the bone, make sure you like smash that subscribe onto the, button. The death box set, <laughs> and it's there. Not have to like run out of time and then just put the very, very, very essential shit on the internet and just go. You know, I want everything on there that I need, like everything that's like relevant. I mean, I can't get every single video I ever made on there. That's impossible. That take way too long. Uh, I make a ton of shit, bro. And I got it on YouTube anyway. Yeah. My account's not going to go away just because I died. It'll still be there. I mean, so far he's right. YouTube shuts down pretty much. Yeah, Daddy05 yeah. got shut down <laughs> in like 24 hours, and this guy is <laughs> shit still up. Well, well, that's the thing. Like, people were more mad that that was up than this is up. Yeah. I, I'm not hearing people being like, YouTube, take this down. They like the cheese made. They want to know. They want to know what happened. Um, Bunch of cheese mosas out there. I'll tell you one thing if anything <laughs> ever does happen to my account. I I'm gonna shoot haunt somebody. The shit out of whoever fucking yeah, he really thinks he's gonna haunt these people. What if he haunts us? Oh, <laughs> what if he oh haunts shit, us? Jim. <laughs> Jim, I think we're already too deep, though. If, I think it's, it's over. It's like the ring. Yeah, <laughs> what if like this the is the ring? We're the only ones that watched this dumb video <laughs> and gave him attention, so now we get haunted because we call him a. I call him a fuckboy. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, we'll I made fun of his dumb haircut. Uh, oh, no, I did it again. Uh, I said he looked like a penis. What else is new? Yeah, what else is new? But, yeah, um. Sorry, if the camera's like moving all over the place. I'm trying to like drive and do this at the same time. Typically, you're supposed to. I don't to want to kill like myself this, like today. I never remember to do it. How great would it be if he did just die in a car wreck? And this great. is the last thing they pulled up. The video of him like talking about the shooting he was planning, where then he dies in a car what accident. That would be insane. It's on video. It just happened, and it's on video. What more do you want? Doesn't he sound like this is inside thing? I'm sorry, but doesn't he sound like Janet's boyfriend? Like his voice sounds like someone we know's voice for sure. Now uh, I'm concerned to know him. I'm gonna report it. I guess story. kinda. I hate. I personally hate when people vlog like this. But that's <laughs> just the way it is. <laughs> you don't think sometimes but what you hey, do is when just hold the camera up and you just do it. Like I didn't really think to hold it like this. <laughs> oh no, the whole video's yeah. ruined. Boo fucking who? I didn't hold the camera properly. Rather the phone properly. It's a phone. It's a fucking phone. Uh, I, uh, these are like the real parts of him. This is when he's just kind of riffing. Yeah, this is why and his when, manager treats him like yeah, shit. <laughs> yeah, this is when he's just zinging and zanging, like kind of throwing out some nice like little riffs like at work. Like, eh, yeah, what? There's a can of peas. It's a can of peas already. And like, well, it's like, a, whatever, like weirdo. A, a song comes on the radio by Justin <laughs> Bieber and everyone's like, oh, I like this song. He's like, I don't know who Justin Bieber is. Yeah, who's Justin Bieber? What song is this? I've never heard it before. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, you know he's always trying to like crack jokes and shit, or he's he, or he's definitely talking about the Amber Ghost Society all the time, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> he tries to get cute that girls in his right store to like. He's like, hey, you should check out my YouTube channel. Ugh. And they're like, nah. And he's like, well, he just do some it. Cool animation. Whatever. All right. Um, he's the guy at the anime animation. convention who hugs the Alien girl he's taking a picture with a little too tight. Ugh. Ugh. You know those dudes at those conventions, right? Yeah, of course. They must have Danny Phantom conventions. Talking dry like this. I mean, no. It's not safe, so. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. does the comment got two that shotguns has not now, safe. bitch. Two shotguns. It's not Suck safe it. to uh, take a video and drive. I got two shotguns. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys soon. Andrew out. <laughs> Make sure I always end it. I got Andrew out. I got to end it in a real cool way. He's shoving a shotgun in his mouth. Andrew out. <laughs> He's pointing his gun around. Our total pull. 
How about it? How about it? Mwah. Mwah. Mackenzie, Rachel. Uh, oh no, he named, he named the guns off of his OCs. No, hey, Rachel the is the name of one of the girls. He's the one. Oh, he, is it? Yeah, she, he said that that's the girl that he told uh, about uh, oh, him having yeah. a shotgun. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, dude, he's in love yeah. with that girl. And yeah, well, I think I think it, you're also I think you're both right because I think that is his. He uh, probably his named OC a character after as well. Her as well. Yeah. Uh-huh. Same, but who they're based on are total polar opposite souls. The way I see it, Mackenzie's going to be the one doing most of the damage. Mackenzie's the 18 and a half inch barrel one, which is this one. It's just a little bit shorter than I'll have to use this Rachel, one on those fat which is girls. a 20 inch <laughs> barrel. Um, She'll be easy to hit. But other than that, they're virtually the same. It's got gun. a nice spread. Um, I'll just hit her all, like magazine knock her down. Is a little shorter, but you can still fit a shit ton of ammunition in there. Um, the one time, the first time I took it up shooting, I can only fit. I feel like um, I know Jeff's in the chat, and don't take this personal, Jeff. But I feel like if we didn't swoop in with the show, this is Jeff Murphy. <laughs> I don't know if Jeff would have become a shooter. <laughs> uh, maybe a stabber. Yeah, maybe some knives. I mean, he's already got a, a nice proclivity for knives as is. Oh, that's true. Two in there. I'm like, it's a shorter magazine, and then the tape stopped. It stopped recording, so you didn't get to hear what else I was going to say. Um, what happens is when you buy these pretty much anywhere... There's a freaking rod in here that prevents you from putting in ammunition. So you can only fit like two in there. And when you take it out, you can fit like four or five. So um, I completely forgot to remove that when I went out with this for the yeah, first time. Yeah, why are not at least the gun control advocates like th- throwing Look, this everywhere? Is. Yeah, this is here, what we keep talking yeah. about. I mean, not that gun con- people that love guns would even care, but whatever. So, yeah. Um... I love both of them, though. They're both spectacular Clean your shotguns. room! They're both the same exact shotgun. <laughs> just one shorter. But either way, I love Mackenzie. I had to switch the names, unfortunately, because what? I named that one Mackenzie when I first got it, but that was before I realized I was going to get another one. And then it made sense because um, Rachel would have a bigger gun. <laughs> you know, Rachel's like a big, macho, devilish, evil soul. and she. Dude, all this kid had was his his OC, his original had. content. I wish that this guy would have just got a real doll instead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like someone, he should have started to GoFundMe for if a real doll. He could have named but it then it would have bombed and he would have shot a bunch of fucking people <laughs> because of it. <laughs> yeah, because then what, like the joints would have hey, it would have to be repaired and he wouldn't have money for it or something. This or is he, the fucking case for real dolls right here. She'd have the big gun. And it just would have been like the beginning instead about animators. It'd be like, to the real doll repairman. Don't give a fuck about me. <laughs> and I've been waiting for Rachel for three months. That faggot wouldn't re- repair my doll. You it's know, surreal because you're it watching it. Her. And like, I know what he did, but it's hard to look yeah. at this person and, and, and project that like what he did afterwards well, on this person I'm seeing right now, no matter how creepy he is. Well, it's the thing we, we've always kind of delved into this on the show. Um, how the, all these villains, like every single villain is just some regular nerd. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and like, you don't want to believe that you want to believe that like, even like, um, like ISIS and all that, like you want to believe that they're these like vicious animals or whatever. But it's just some fucking nerd. Yeah. It's just some nerd somewhere. Some guy that was tricked into something because he yeah. has he had nothing else to like. Like literally, like, I mentioned it earlier, and I wasn't joking. Like, what if if like that fucking voice actress girl paid any attention to him? Hmm. He would yeah. he wouldn't need to do this. And I I'm not blaming this on her. Oh I'm not, yeah yeah. Exactly. Not even justifying him. I'm just saying like sometimes it's literally like uh, he had nothing going for him. And she's just this sad fuck. And if he had, and like, even the littlest thing going for him, it would have been like, I'm not shooting up my grocery store. That's crazy. That was kind of the thing we had taught uh, Jake and I. And I th- I don't know if you were back on the show yet, Mike. I think this is when Jake was still on the show and maybe Joe. And uh, I forget how it came up, but we were talking about, like, the world's biggest hero would be just the girl that oh, the fucks angel? this kid. Yeah, yeah. the angel. Just I heard that episode. Pity. Yeah, just like fucks a kid like this. That and was one of my favorite shit. episodes you guys did while I was gone. Yeah, the angel that fucking <laughs> knows she's way out of this guy's league, but fucking just like shows up and dates him and blows him and stuff. <laughs> For better. So now Rachel will most likely just be 
on my back the entire time. Looking cool. Um, Looking badass and shit. Just in case something goes wrong with Mackenzie's gun. Or I need it for a longer range. Like, say I want to shoot a slug at the floor guy's propane tank or something. Um, oh, this... my God. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing it out like fucking Counter-Strike or something. Yeah, shit. like where the red barrels are. <laughs> Jesus. Dude. It would be a better option because the barrel's longer. Um, but mainly it's just a backup. Because yeah. when I got this one, I just named it Mackenzie because I'm like, well, this is the only gun I'm ever going to have in my life, so I'll call it Mackenzie. And then when I decided to do what I'm going to like fucking do. Oh, uh, you know. He's like being all coy about it. <laughs> when I decided to do a you know what. Oh, I had egg on my face. So, um, yeah, it just looks like a Rachel. I don't know. That one's Mackenzie. But, yeah, obviously they're named after Mackenzie West and Rachel Shadows. So... Ugh, the... Such lame nerd <laughs> fucking... Uh... Such lame, like... Uh, like, uh, what's it called? Fucking fan theory, like trash. Like, it's fan such a. Yeah, fan fiction, yes. Thank you. I couldn't cover it for some reason. But, like, it's such an obvious, like, not a real thing, but a person trying to make a character that would sound like, like a real thing. It's like when you're in middle school and you're playing an RPG and it lets you name a character. So you just <laughs> name the character after, like, a girl you have a crush on. <laughs> and then, like, you live vicariously through that for a little bit and yeah. you're just like. How fucking, like, at the time, you're like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, like, you're going to get with the hero, because I'm the hero. But then it's like, you're, that's the fucking lamest thing in the world. The <laughs> side, I have engraved um, EGS on both of them, and then I have Rachel, and I have Mackenzie. Ugh. Good thing he didn't do Scratch that before he decided side. to change the name. So. Yeah, <laughs> good point, Thorson. That would have been embarrassing. <laughs> These names are never going to be viewed the same way again. After this happens. Yep. Sure Sorry, that. dude. <laughs> Goodbye, Rachel from Friends. It's going to be all about my gun. Yeah, the, the Rachel is no longer a haircut. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Andrew Blaze, I got some bad news for you. <laughs> Andrew Blaze's ghost. Uh, are you listening? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Only Jim and them's talking about it, and we're not very big. Do you, yeah. think, uh, do you think that's what uh, <laughs> what's up with his haircut? Do you think he went and asked for the Rachel, and they were like, I don't know what that means? <laughs> <laughs> now, here's one thing I want to talk about. <laughs> Brilliant, Doctor Fly. I'll be there for you. Gunshots. <laughs> good, good. Shut, 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 shut. I, he real. No, yeah, this and and I mean, it's the good thing of not giving a lot of attention because that's clearly all why he's doing this. Yeah. But he, he you listen to him talk. He thinks that Rachel and Mackenzie will like not be names you give to your daughters anymore. Well, he thinks or he's gonna. Your sons. He thinks it's gonna be like fucking uh, Sandy Brook. Yeah. He, 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 was, it, was that? Yes. Anyway. Whatever. You guys, yeah, that, that, that fucking preschool. He thinks that's what it's going to be. He thinks he's going to do this. It's going to make national news, and everyone's going to be talking about it for a fucking uh, an entire month. And uh, it's like, oh, wait, f I guess failure in life, failure yeah, in death. Am sorry, I right, dude? <laughs> See this? In here is propane. In our supermarket, we have canisters like this. This is exactly where I got it from. This is the exact thing I'm talking about. We have about, like, I'd say 15 or 20 on a shelf. One of my new plans is to scoop these into a shopping cart and then shoot at it with the oh, gas yes. canister. Sailor in the chat, so much for the NSA watching us. Yeah, if only this dude had an <laughs> Amazon Echo. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. <laughs> Next to it, fill up with gas. Um... Picture it as like a little mini propane bomb just to do some damage. Um, I'm not going to hit anybody with it. I bet you he tried that and it like didn't really work because it's not a His movie. aim was off. Yeah. He got embarrassed, blew his own head off. <laughs> just to do some fucking damage to the building. That's the main purpose of that. Um, I got to test shoot it first and see like what it does. Um, mainly because it feels like it's only like filled up to here. So... Shooting this with like a slug or something, I just want to see how big of an explosion it is, just to see what it does, and then uh, we'll see. So. And he really is like, uh, now, that's kind of lame. I'm not it turns out, yeah. even he's like, now? wait, that's kind of lame. I'm not sure. Thought of some new things, and uh, some of them are actually really, really clever. Really kick ass. Yeah. <laughs> I came up with some kick ass ideas. I came with uh, <laughs> some pretty clever ways to kill my manager. So. Plan. Wednesday, June seventh, twenty seventeen. Yep. That's one o'clock 
we go out for break. That's how it always goes every night. It's always 1 o'clock or like 103, 105. All right, nerd. Every night, All right. it's so almost it's always the same, but not exactly. Maybe 1258? I don't know. He goes. He goes outside. That's how it always goes. I follow him not long after, usually a minute or two, because I always grab snacks to buy to gnaw on and stuff. You know. Because I'm happen. a rodent. <laughs> when he goes out, I'm going to block the emergency exits. I'm going to get pallets. I'm going to put them in front of the doors. In the back room... There are at least four or five emergency exits. There's one all the way at the other end of the facility in the back room by the back manager's office. That one I'm actually going to block when he goes to lock the store up at 11 o'clock. So that one will just be taken care of instantly. He's not going to go down there looking for other stuff. Jesus. Because I'll have all the stuff we're going to need for the stock and shit already down here. So there'll be no reason he'll ever need to go down that side of the facility. So that'll be taken care of. You want to uh, be filled with guilt? About, I'd Think about, like, these victims' families watching yeah, this. Yeah, man, how awful. Yeah, because they, they see how little he cared. Like, Yes. Yeah, well, to him, it wasn't, like, um, a, even a scary or a, uh, a sad thing. Like, he wasn't, like, the melodramatic movie version of the kid that's just like, no one paid attention to me, yeah. and I'm a person, and you should have been my friend. Like, uh, uh, and he's crying while he does it. He's just like, so here's how I'm going to do it. Uh, here's the exact well, date. Well, thinks of it like a video game. Yeah. Yes. I, it's absolutely. like it's a fucking Overwatch strategy. Yeah. He's discussing it with his friends, like what his item build is in Smite. Yeah. And 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 it's weird because it's like you want you, you kind of want him to at least show a little humanity, but it is almost like yeah, this kid's it's it's he's not evil per se. He's like a, just an empty shell or yeah. something. A sociopath. Yeah. Say like. 60 feet beyond that, there's an emergency exit here, and about 20 feet down, there's another one here. This one over here is the easiest to block. You think you had to do multiple Besides takes? Besides the one all the way down. Ah, shit. Um, it wasn't 60 feet. There, it was like 40 feet. Blocked, he does like that choppy out. YouTube thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> same thing goes uh, pretty much for the one next to it. They're just single layered doors. Right, like, by the time he comes back in, I'll be like, what the hell is a pallet doing here? Because he has to come back in before. All right, see, what did I tell you? The camera stopped. <laughs> Big yeah. surprise. Ah, cameras, guys. Hey. Right. Hey. Anyway, back to my murder. Hey, it's almost always oh, going to be a guy behind a big sheet behind this. Wait, what year is this? Ah, cameras. <laughs> As I was saying, Brian is going to be coming in before me. He'll be going back inside first. So I can't put pallets in front of these doors because he'll be like, why the hell are there pallets out here in front of these doors? That makes no sense. So that option was just completely out of the question. I couldn't do that. So I'm thinking, how the fuck am I going to block these doors? I'm not going to be able to. I'm just going to have to pop the two of them and then just hope to goddess I can get over to him before he runs out that exit. Oh, oh the goddess. goddess. God, what a fucking dork. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, It's like, it, and, and I feel like we, we have these revelations on the show of like, uh, remember we watched that video of the dude on like a high speed police chase, but he was like live streaming it yes. yeah. and it was yeah. boring. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, you want to think that some shooter mastermind is like interesting, but yeah, he's just a fucking nerd. Just a lame ass nerd. He just keeps saying frack. Yeah. He's like a big Battlestar <laughs> Galactica guy. He just calls everyone they. <laughs> don't use their pronouns. And I'm out on my break the other night. Not last night, but the night before. I'm just sitting in my car, and I just happen to look over at the doors, and then I just got this idea that just hit me like a fucking train. I could put my car up into those doors. Mm -hmm. It's on the sidewalk, and there's Listen pillars. To him. It's like a next revelation to, to him. Yeah. But you have enough space to fit your car up there. You could fit it like this, or you can T-bone the doors. And I was like, "Holy shit! That is the greatest idea I've ever had." And uh, <laughs> the way I see of, it is uh, driving up and T-boning uh, it would Ember be the Ghosts, best option of course. because, like, no matter what, as long as you have like this much space between your car and the doors, you won't be able to open those doors and get out. It won't budge. So we'll see. It should be wide enough. If not, I could still fit it like this. But obviously, I, like the mirror like protrudes out, and I'd be afraid like I wouldn't be able to fit it properly. But yeah, I wouldn't want to break um, my side mirror. I just mirror want to be careful because I feel like if I hit the doors with just that little bit of force, you can trip the alarm because these are all alarmed exits. So that that was crucial. That idea just changed everything. Well, so he's already talking in the past. Brian will go back inside. 
I'll go back inside, as I normally would, and then just see where as everybody's I'm at. As I want to do. I know he'll be down in aisles one through seven, anywhere in that area. You know, over Victoria by and dairy Kristen, and... It's uh, completely like... <laughs> you know the area. It's Cereal. a wild card guess of where they're going to be. And what I've come to realize is when we go out on break and come back in, they're on break too. So somewhere in the area of 1 o'clock through like 1.15, they take a break. This was the crushing blow out of, all, of it all because I envision just coming back in and then just going off and killing everybody, but... Oh, oh, we'll be in the back room somewhere. I know it sounds dumb, but I'm saying yeah. killing everybody and saying pop this guy and pop that yeah, guy gets no, so get different. Yeah, I get chills, kind of. I want this to be on the surveillance camera so you can see it. And Jesus, he really, is, that was important. Go back to him. where I was working. Yeah, he wants to be like the fucking Columbine guy. Give it like 10 minutes or so. Go back down that end. See where they're at. Go back outside. Gear up. Drive the car up to the doors. You know, I'm already geared up and everything. Waltz in, lock the door, set the alarm, and then lock the big pair of double doors in the vestibule that leads you into the store. So the way it's set up is like any old supermarket is. You got the entrance, which has the two doors. You turn in, there's the fresh produce, <laughs> and then obviously the bakery. The but bakery, that's obviously going to be closed because <laughs> yeah. they're not going to be doing the bakery at one in the morning. You got the deli over here. Right uh, past the Starbucks. Uh, <laughs> there's a place where you can get your, your uh, potato wedges. <laughs> yeah, but nobody's going to be over by, uh, by the toilet paper and stuff. Just like when the grocery store's open, nobody <laughs> needs to go over there. He's going to get away. Um, but that's the first place they're going to have to run. He's just... You just got to get lucky. So what happens is 11 o'clock is when we close the store up, and that's obviously when I'm going to block the one exit all the way at the far end of the facility. But it, it almost doesn't even matter. But that's just assuming that, you know, nobody's going to get away. <laughs> um, but that's the first place they're going to have to run. You know, if, if I'm down the aisle coming at you this way with a shotgun, you're going to go out the back room. You're not gonna go out the front. You're gonna go towards the back. That's scary because like imagine being in that like, position yeah, and like emergency exits. I some can get weirdo right. at your job is coming to you with a shotgun and you're like, "Fuck, I'm gonna run for my life," and then you run to a door and it's blocked and yes. you realize like, "Oh, this isn't just like some weird freak thing." He's. I have yeah. somewhere to hide. I have to hide. I'm literally yeah. being hunted right now. And it's just like some, that changes it so much. And it's some fucking guy you see like four times a week. And and uh, for the most part, it's probably just dumb, like, oh, how you doing? All right, cool. Hey, blah, 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 needs you for this. Some stupid fuck that you're forced to uh, interact with because of your job. Now, all of a sudden, yeah, like like he was just saying, you're trying to run down an aisle and you see this dummy with his fucking shotgun and you have nowhere to go. Yeah out well you're not going to be able to because i'm gonna have them fucking blocked so jesus christ you're done uh, and um he yeah. cocked it and shot it so i hated that those exits that's the most crucial thing because that's how i wanted to do it i wanted to control and contain this operation no one can get out that also means no one can get in now this was the biggest question i had it's like well the cops would have to shoot their way to get in so how can i prevent them from getting in and that was to block all the other exits so and i'm out like that i want it to be slow you know i want it to be a slow process but if i book it i can get everybody um god he wanted it to be thing. slow he wants to enjoy if it. you get shot with a shotgun point blank you're you should not be able to just get up and run away you're gonna be in there like just in agony on the freaking floor for at least a good few minutes and just trying to digest what's happening so boom 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 just go book it so that'd be the best option just to do it as fast as i possibly can that way they're wounded um that's just the biggest thing as long as I hit everybody and they're wounded, then I can take my time with finishing them off. Oh, my yeah, God. I got to do it fast still. But. He shot 60 times or 59 times. So I is that he... like him just kind of 
geeking out a bit. Like, well, he said, and this sounds like too in depth, but he said like there's a lot of random factors on where some of these people could yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. I bet it was literally like he didn't know where they were, and I said that some of them were like weird, scary horror movie. Like, where are you? Ch -ch Pow. Oh, yeah. Are you over there? Ch -ch Pow. Well, and he also like, said he wanted to just fuck up the store too. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. So the, yeah, like fucking things up and scaring people and probably shooting at them as they ran. Um, it'll still be Chat a few minutes for he has an AJ show up or here. get in and know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, he, he if wishes. There's a shooter, <laughs> he fucking wishes. You know, they gotta AJ know styles. what they're getting themselves into first. They're not just gonna barge in there blindly and just expect to take people out. They don't know how many gunmen there are, even though it's gonna be just me. So, you know. I mean, Did he wear a mask? Just, Did they even know it was this dude possible. when it was Can't happening? I don't know. I think by the time they got there, he'd already just killed himself or whatever. Uh. Of how freaking long it is. Looks cool. Looks cool. Holding it. Oh, it's like a dick. Oh. Look how cool I am I was holding so the gun. Glad I decided to get a second shotgun. I wasn't going to just because I worried about buying like the same gun again or like trying to hide it away. This from is like the guy when you're at a midnight release for a video game shot. who's like, yeah, you know, I was gonna get Pokemon Moon, but then I decided <laughs> on Pokemon Sun because I was looking at the exclusives. Yeah. And and, you know, it just didn't really make sense to not have this gun. <laughs> gun in general. Um, yeah, he's always trying to chat things, people like, up. Makes me uneasy, in line like, he doesn't know. background checks and everything. And trying to act normal when I'm there, getting the gun and everything. And trying not to stand around and, like, look like I'm, like, conspiring to do something bad, you know? It's hard. But I did it. So, this is it. I'm not going to get another gun. It's, it's a waste. These two shotguns. And that's that. Because I won't have any other way of, like, carrying another one. <laughs> and just gotta keep my eyes on where everybody is. Because there's one of these... Um, I don't know if I even have I it or really not. I really don't want to watch any more yeah, of them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but there's one of these where he's showing the gun, and then he goes, and... Uh, this is it, and it's gonna... And, you, and you know, not too long from now, it's gonna be like, boom like to his head like and my head's gonna go like everywhere and i'm gonna Jesus. be a ghost or whatever um, I, I i i'm sort of on board with you thorson but i'm also like it's yeah. kind of morbidly i'm morbidly curious it's like watching yes. a documentary that's the main reason it really why reminds I... me of watching a documentary hearing this psychopath talk about the, th the thing he was gonna do that he ended up actually doing and he's just as normal as he is yeah that's the main reason why i had it for the show i mean i know it's like a weird thing to talk about but it just it's it's weirdly fascinating, not in a like uh, wh what he thinks like that he's this cool hero guy, but like what a what a nerd and how like like we were saying, like just an empty fucking shell talking about this stuff that he's been planning. And he doesn't even really seem... It doesn't even really seem like he's psyched for it. Yeah, he's not it's even just excited. Like, it's just like, oh, this thing, of course, I have to do. I have to do this thing. It's just the other thing about it is nobody would suspect thing about it is nobody would suspect a fucking thing. camera. That's how it's he must it's have so a, ingenious. Nobody would remotely. He suspect must have a DSLR. They'll only record for like 13 minutes and at a time. It's foolproof. There is nothing that can stop me. Nothing. That's scary. You'll all be fucking dead. Or a good bit of you anyway. At least half of you. I would assume half. Had me on top of that. Oh Jesus! Oh, a weirdo. He said that, and then he like gave the it's camera a weird smile. Counting down the days. And can't come fast enough. It really can't. And every day, I just I get more and more confident. I get more and more like inspired. I get more and more into it. Uh. At first, it was like, kind of like, oh man, I really don't know if I should do this. Or, it was like a oh, wishy washy little wrong, idiot. Or, maybe I'll just go for one and then I'll be it. Or, and, you know, it kept building and building. I like how there was never like you know, no like, murder. Like, right, it was just how shot, much you know, murder like, you know, like, he was going to do. First, I was like, just me. And then I was like, oh, maybe I'm one. I'm still getting one. new ideas. I just I'm can't turn creative. it off. I'm you yeah. know that. Oh, yeah, he is. He's a creative and guy. He's misunderstood. I've been in that building for. Almost seven years. It'll be seven years in June. <laughs> um, 
you know the inside and out of that place. So, oh, yeah, so he's basically worked there since he graduated high school. The cherry on top of the or cake. Actually, he's worked there since high school. I mean, there much. are definitely those people, like, when we worked at Best Buy. The icing on the yeah. cake. Yeah. And, like, I could see it. a couple of those people being this guy. Um, which is also why I have a backup. You know, you never know what's going to happen. So, um, I'll shoot the ceiling once or twice. <laughs> you know, the propane. Fuck that shit up. That was up. one of the newest ideas I had. I'm a creative Now dude. he's just gloating. Yeah. The only good thing is, Terry the floor guy, when it's one o'clock, he's still out on the floor running the, uh, the suds machine, whatever you want to call it. The mop? Um, <laughs> that sanitizes the floor. <laughs> so it's not until around at the yeah, earliest Terry Sterling quarter after killed. one that he Poor goes back. Poor fucking Terry gets... Sterling, 63. He's That's probably just some retired That's guy. That's so scary because he is he's like saying, yeah, so when I kill yeah. Terry and then like you look at his victims list and it's like, Terry was, it's like fucking shit. It's the buffer The premeditation out, so. factor yes. of this it's is just really alarming. really analyze what's around me. Like, um, even if it's just like a pallet of 24 pack of water that's up to here, you can't climb on top of that and like, Still get a beer. Really, like, you're not going to have time to squeeze through that, you know? That's just the biggest thing. Slowing everybody down. If it can't completely block the door. Probably a fucking Jones because he's such a dork. <laughs> no, he had panic. a big stack like, of oh, beer fuck, in his closet earlier. Fucking losers you know? drinking Jones Cola. Try the next door. <laughs> the next door. He's like, yeah, I, I bought all these Nuka Cola Quantums because what else am I going to do with my money? So. <laughs> chug it. Look at me, chug. Can hold my liquor too. Not only am I creative. Throws up. Thirty some days. That's it. That's it. How do that I end, is it. How do I end this? How do I end this? <laughs> how do I end this? Uh, how do I end this? What's a cool uh, way? I guess to end I'll this? say that's it thirteen <laughs> times. <laughs> What's a cool way to end this? Unreal. What would Danny Phantom do? <laughs> I'm fucking real. Yeah, say fuck. After this happens, no one will ever hear the name Rachel or Mackenzie the same way again. No, man. I'm sorry, sure bro. Dude, he really was trying to immortalize his stupid original characters. Boy, and Andrew. it's Dude, he did it for the love of his characters. Because yeah, you know we always made that joke about like, oh, if someone killed and said like, I'm the Jim and them killer, like yeah. it'd make our show big. <laughs> it wouldn't make our show big. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> Yeah. It wouldn't do shit. <laughs> it wouldn't make our show big at all. <laughs> he's fucking. Is he, oh, I thought he's gonna kiss it. His question is, where is it gonna go? He's just thinking about hentai. What's gonna happen in the future after this? <laughs> he's just like prevent this from sitting happening there thinking again. about how great you hentai know. is. <laughs> and the answer is, you can't prevent. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, you can't prevent this. You can only endure it. Ugh. It's weird, even. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I farted. Well, and it's funny because even knowing what he did, he's not intimidating still. <laughs> no, that's the fucking least into it. Again, he, he, he reeks of like, like fucking dorks that I meet at uh, anime conventions that try to act in character for their cosplay. Oh, yeah. And and maybe like even when he had the <laughs> shotgun, they weren't afraid of him at the store. <laughs> Jim, I bet that fucking sad fuck at the amazing comic con that had the cat that was selling Legos. I bet he shot up a grocery yeah. store. <laughs> the weird like cat muppet or what, a puppet or whatever. <laughs> Just selling used Legos. All right, time to jerk off. I can't say this too many more times, but I'll see you next one Andrew out oh, Andrew out uh, so lame it really is what a fucking lame ass um let me just see what these ones were I don't know if like oh, no. uh, uh, so these are the tapes the suicide tapes yeah ST um yeah yeah wear the beanie you do you fucking idiot yeah, wear it more often the beanie I'll just take a peek at this one, and we'll finish up part one, I guess. Today's April 11th, and a few <gasps> days ago, I got my baby. 
check it out. Was, oh, this is the one where he talks about his head. Yeah, we'll just see that real quick. This is when he first. This is a Mossberg 500 pump action 12 gauge shotgun, and it is gonna be my ticket out of here. And I cannot fucking wait to use it. Um, it's just been sitting here the last few days because I haven't been able to go out to you know test fire it yet, and I just. The urge is like beyond imaginable right now. I really want to shoot this, but I gotta wait another few days before I can shoot it. So that's how it goes. Yeah, but it's um, life for you. This thing is fucking awesome. When I think of a shotgun, this is what I think of. You know, short barrel, fucking pretty much trigger soft. handle. <laughs> you pop a bullet in there, and it's like ba bow. You get that the, bullet is gone. <laughs> you get the cool pump. You get the, the pump so fucking cool. It's like when I pump, it's I'm coming. <laughs> it's like the pump. It's so grip, you know. This thing is fucking beautiful. Kung Bar in the yeah. chat. Guys, he's obviously possessed by a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Just under five months, that'll be in my mouth and poof. Yeah, there gone. it is. Gone. Just like that. Dead. Jesus. Can't wait. So, Jin Jin, you're going to be barking like crazy when that happens. Oh, Christ. Christ. At least he didn't hurt his dog. No, look at that dog. That dog's like, motherfucker, you are fucked. You are so fucked in the head. Look how fuck that dog knows more yeah, than anyone. Yeah, what if the dog, like, what if dogs can understand what yeah, that, that dog knows more than anyone's ever known yeah. anything. And Jin -jin. it's just, like, constantly barking at the parents and running yeah. to the kid's room, and they're like, what do you want? Yeah, what do you want, Jin -jin? Put the dog in the backyard. It's annoying us. It's just trying to get the, the attention of a bag of ammunition hidden in our cabinet. You're not going to know what's going on. <laughs> right, so I think yeah. it sounds like originally he was just planning to kill himself, to be honest. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess there's elements of that. That's well, kind of what said, he talks about. He was saying, yeah, at first I might just kill myself, but then I was like, no, I could take one person with me. Wait, maybe I could take more. Yeah. Ugh, I did not enjoy that. <laughs> but yeah, you get it. You you get the point. It was, uh, you know, it started out as a... Just another lonely YouTuber, and then uh, I figured I'd show you guys some twists and turns there. <laughs> I did not see that coming, even as Thorson made the joke. Can Until we? you started responding the way you did, Jim, I, n I never would have seen that coming. 